what your response to this song has been and also just in general the the denigration of american values and a national identity and how it's brought us to this point yes yeah, so i think there's the superficial element of this which you know frankly others have covered over the course of today as well which is something i agree with i said it this morning is that anytime you have a song that actually celebrates who we really are something that a majority of americans by the way at least until very recently the values enshrined in that song would have united all americans mm -hmm. that's actually what is subject to censorship and cancellation when in fact songs that glorify violence or other kinds of undesirable behavior are the ones that we actually end up culturally venerating so there's a bit of a paradox there i do think there's something deeper going on and it ties to our earlier conversation in the country which is this idea of whether we believe in concentric circles of loyalty or not, right? Mm -hmm. the, the song was about a small town. And, and I think that we were having a yeah. discussion earlier about the community. I mean, how do you take care of your own yourself or your family before you're solving global poverty in Ethiopia yep. or whether you're addressing the climate? And I think that that's one of the questions we have to regain alignment on i think it's it's an interesting question i'm offering one view i'm clearly biased to that view but i think that there's a legitimate question of saying that no no no, we don't necessarily have to solve problems at home before we solve them solve them somewhere else or do we actually take care of the problems on our own street if you're try that in a small town it's like almost i'm going to stand for my people first i'm going to yes. stand for my family first i'm going to stand for my town first i'm going to stand for my nation first is that the right way to think about our commitments or do we have transcendental commitments that go beyond those traditional boundaries somewhere else? And I think that's in many ways, it's not a right or left question. It's an interesting question to ponder. And I think that that's part of what's going on when we make up these new abstract religions to substitute for the hard thing, which is look in the mirror and ask myself who I am, actually do something kind for my parents or for my family members or my neighbors. In some ways, Ukraine has actually become a substitute I, yep. for this, right? I was just Ukraine about to is a substitute you. religion. Yeah. I mean, if this song was called Try That in Ukraine, I don't think anyone would be complaining about it. Exactly. <laughs> because what are we trying in, in Ukraine or Russia? We're, you know, on one hand, last year, the thing that we said, cluster bombs that were going to be war crimes are now the very things that we will send over to Ukraine. And so, so it just becomes a the reemergence mm -hmm. of a new kind of religion.